teachers, this resource, your hub, is going to simplify your life. <laughs> so no longer do you have to open up 15 different Google Slides presentations during the day or a bunch of different websites trying to remember where you save them, what they're called. Everything's in one place. I've included 22 different icons on this hub, but I've also included instructions for you to add your own so that you can make this be exactly what you want it to be. So for instance, when I click on an icon, it's gonna take me to the slide in this presentation that I need. So I have a morning slide now. I can change the text really easily, the headings. If you want to change the layout, you can. Everything's completely editable. I know there's nothing worse than having a resource that you cannot completely edit. I want you to make this exactly how you want it. So there's different layouts that I've included for a bunch of the different slides. There's a home button so you can easily get back to the home. I've included um, the pledge. I've included links to videos already for you. But again, you can change any of these links so that they lead to the videos that you want. I've also included a media library area. So you can link those popular used websites and videos right here so you can access them really quickly. There's agenda slides that you can use. Again, different layouts, all editable. There's timers. There are the ketchup and mustard slides that we like, whatever you need. There's even missing work slides in here. Partners, oh, I love this one. How many times do we use up that precious wall space to list partners when we really don't need to because really it's only during math where we care about who the math partner is, right? So you can list your math partners here. You can even type out the task and you can just project this slide so students can see it nice and clear. They can see what they're supposed to do. You can always duplicate this slide when it's time to change your math partners so you can remember who were math partners in the past. Super easy to duplicate or delete any of the slides in this presentation. I've also included homework slides, we get a glance if you want. Um, everything is here and again, you can customize any of it. I've also included some lesson organizers. So if you wanna get yourself organized before the day and you wanna like type in the warm up, the focus, whatever you want, I've included some slides here. I have found that when I have this done, it really helps me get through my lesson a little bit quicker. I've also included some to-do lists for you as a teacher, so you can reference this all the time. You can duplicate any of these. Pick the one you like, delete the ones you don't like. Something else I've included, which I really like, are my parent contact info sheets. So this is a Google Sheet that you will get and you'll link it to that icon, but it includes parent info that you can access really quickly, student passwords, medical info, ID numbers, birthdays. You can see here volunteers, transportation, your passwords. You'll have that link so it's super easy to get to. Schedules, including like pullouts and push-ins, conferring notes. I also give you this presentation. These are completely editable. You can use them digitally. You can print them out. So you have observation sheets for students. You can have observation sheets for your small groups. Again, if you need more boxes or less boxes, delete boxes, add boxes, completely editable. Here's a page for ideas. You can just like throw on some visuals here or ideas that you have anytime and they're all in one place. How many times do you write down ideas on scraps of paper? Maybe it's just me. And then I have a zillion pieces of paper with all these ideas all over them, but I don't know where the papers went. So here you can keep them in one space. Long-term planning slides. I even include areas where you can link to your curriculum, your standards. Another thing I wanted to show you, oh, this one, you can make a seating chart. This one's really fun. So if you just zoom out, you can put your students' names in here design your classroom as it is. Again, you can duplicate this slide after you do it so you know who has already sat by each other, maybe who works well, who doesn't. You can always put some notes in there as well. Let me zoom back in. The other thing I wanted to show you, ooh, this one, the calendar. Here is a quick calendar so you can see the dates, but also you can click the month and you can get to the calendar. So you can, you can print these out, you can type right in them, you can print them off and give them to parents, you can just use them for yourself, totally up to you. The last thing I wanted to tell you is that I've included instructions 
at the end of this presentation that tell you exactly how to add your own icons. So you can go to this website, find the icon you need. Like let's say you wanna link your email. Well, you can find the icon for email and then I tell you how to link it and it's super easy. I've even included the color code so you can make these icons exactly the color that you want them to be. You can delete any of my icons, you can add your own. The other thing you can do is you can change any of these links to actually open up your own Google Slides presentation. So for instance, let's say instead of these agenda slides that I have in this presentation, let's say I wanted to actually link them to the a different agenda slides, like a, a bigger package that I have. So I can just remove this link. All I have to do is hit Control K to link. And I'm going to type in my, oh, they're already here, my entire year themed agenda slides. So look, I just linked that. So now when I click on the icon, it's going to open up my larger resource of agenda slides. And I can just click really quickly to get to the agenda slide I need that way. So again, you can link these to your own websites. You can link these to your own Google Slides presentations, your own forms, whatever you need. The cool thing is, is there's, there's tons of room, as you can see, to add whatever icons you want. And again, I give you step-by-step -step directions for how to customize this, how to add your icons. I think this is going to save a ton of time, really simplify your life, which I'm always trying to do. Let me know if you have any questions. You can find the link to this in the description below. It's in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, a makeaway for tech.